What, what do you think the sort of interest about the, the, the latest thing that we hear about the States is this sex thing stuff? Yeah. I mean, the, from the work I do with young people, I, th I think there is a there is a concern there that they are, and you mentioned it before, putting all sorts of pictures up. And mm. if you think about the tomorrow or the mm. two or three years on. Well, I, yeah, I agree. I mean, if I, if, if, when my kid, I mean, I did stupid things, but there's, I didn't leave the same permanent record that my kid will. Yeah. Um, and, and when my kid does stupid things, one of the things that I'm really concerned about is that she's going to leave that permanent record. I hope that I can infuse her with the media literacy, not to do s no stupid things, because being an adolescent is about doing stupid things, but rather to be aware of the immortality of information that finds its way onto a network um, and the fluidity of that information and I think that um, the way to do that is not to say to kids you can't ever use social media I think the way to do it is to sit down with kids and say look at the way that this rumor not even a real thing look at the way that this rumor flooded through your social network I mean today we have sociologists who've gone completely gaga over social networks because you know sociologists used to be soft scientists right they used to they used to just look at behavior now that they can, now that they can count things they're proper scientists and so sociologists are off there plotting the social graph and watching how information diffusion works and that's really fascinating stuff it's stuff kids can do right you could sit down with your kids and you could say right last month this school was in turmoil because of a rumor about some terrible thing that some student did or some health risk or someone had cooties or swine flu or something else let's watch the diffusion of that information we have the social network right who wants to volunteer to uh, go through your email inbox your I am record your 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 Twitter stream and tell me about the first time that that appeared and when you heard it next and how it mutated let's do a big class project and find all the ways that that information spread and then say now who, how, who here was thinking about putting a naked picture of yourself online look at this diffusion of information right look at look at what's happened here I mean uh, uh, physiologically, kids' capacity to understand risk develops after adolescence. The, the parts of their brain that govern risk develop after adolescence. So kids don't have the same appreciation of risks as adults, and that's good because otherwise you wouldn't take the risks that cause you to, for example, tell your first uh, lie of consequence or do your first noble thing or um, do any of the things that really are, are, are um, incredibly brave and foolish that are like jumping off a cliff and trusting that you, you won't splat when you hit the ground um, that, that really characterize adolescence the series of really dangerous decisions that you have to make to become an adult um, so informing kids about risk really involves frequent reinforcement and examples and examples from their real life and if you can turn the thing that they're already obsessed with into a tool to teach them to use it better rather than telling them that that they need to stop it uh, you know it, it, telling telling kids that the thing that they love is wrong is probably a non-starter it just just not not because of the morality of it, but just because of the practicalities of it. Telling people stuff that they love is wrong doesn't work very well. You know, you can you can teach an, an awful lot about epidemiology and social idea diffusion by, um, for example, starting a harmless rumor and then tracking its its growth through through a network and using using say a hashtag or or a distinctive term. And come up with a with a fake word and say. Um, uh, you know, Mixoplex is, um, is, is in, has invaded Britain and uh, there are four cases of it in Herefordshire and uh, it's spreading and what are we going to do about it and, and come up with a bunch of characteristics that it has and, and that term is a nice distinctive term and you can Google it and watch it diffuse and, and have a daily class project to watch the diffusion of this piece of information. Have a website where you describe what you're doing so anyone who Googles it intensively enough will find out and discover what the experiment's about so it's nice and ethical but just watch the diffusion of, of, of of that bit of information um, and think about how a flu would spread right uh, from person to person and then think about how an idea might spread from person to person and then think about how a naked picture of yourself might spread from person to person I mean I think of, of, of the sexting the real tragedy the sexting story is that they're prosecuting kids for taking pictures oh, yeah, of themselves yeah, as child pornographers yeah, yeah. that's bonkers right this is destroying children to save them I mean there's 
they, it is it is so kind of out of control and thankfully it seems like the district attorneys who are involved in this are, are, are having their wrists slapped anyways well it's I mean it's it's brutal uh, you know the, the the thing about sex offender registries wow the thing about the thing about sex offender registries and the, the character the, the category of sex offender is that it is so toxic that even an accusation can haunt you for the rest of your life I mean as teachers everybody is kind of a, on on alert about this that no one wants to have a misinterpreted touch or look or, or a statement because the consequences are so dire and to, to take children and to plunge them into that world because they do something stupid as opposed to something that it, that is an actual sex offense um, and to, to have that follow them around for the rest of their lives I can't imagine a, a, a worse way to protect children and this is all under the rubric of protecting children